And in that story, yeah. I just looked it up because yeah. you give me the reference. It's like Moses gets so frustrated. He goes, listen, you rebels, must we bring water yeah. out of the rock? Yeah. Dude, you're not bringing yeah. water out of the rock. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> must we? Must we. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, presumption, isn't it? And that's the, the danger mm. of presumption. Yeah. 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 And I, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. So often we see God working in our lives mm. and somehow or other we think that, that we're somehow special mm. above all the, uh, other, yeah. everybody else yeah. among God's people. But no, we're yeah. sinners like everybody absolutely. else. And he yeah. graciously chooses to use yeah. us yeah. Mm. Yeah. like that. Wow. So now let's stay with you if we may. Um, yes. Chapter 3, verse 12, um, Moses reminds the nation about two of their tribes, Reuben and Gad. Mm. So why is it good to remember their example? What had those two tribes already done? Yes, well, going back to your question with, 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 uh, with Paul earlier on, it, those, those, um, those uh, kings, uh, Zion and, and, Zion and, and, Og, and yeah. Og, those are the lands that Reuben and Gad had already taken. And if you like, they were almost like sort of they were the sort of the, the deposit, mm. as it were. Mm. They were the sort of down payment on the promised land that's coming. Mm. And again, just thinking about, you know, what Dawn was saying earlier, is that sometimes in our heads we think, well, if God's promised me something, I just need to sit back and he's mm. going to hand it to me on a plate. No, but like you were saying, Dawn, you know, is that God promises, he's got the promise, but there will be obstacles in the way, mm. and they're the giants that are in the way. Mm. 